Hey guys, how you doing? Dave from Cook and Share here. Today we're doing up another simple, easy comfort food, chicken potato casserole. I know you're going to want to make this, so let's get started. I'm going to get started here by seasoning up three boneless, skinless chicken breasts with some salt, pepper. The amount you use is entirely up to you, but the real trick of this dish, I think, is lots of pepper. Then we're going to add some oil to a preheated pan. Throw the chicken breasts in and fry them over medium-high heat for about 8 to 10 minutes. Of course you're going to flip them over halfway through the frying process. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already subscribed, click that button. Yeah, that one right there. That way you're never going to miss a video. Okay, now the chicken breasts are beautifully done. We're going to go ahead and slice them into bite-sized chunks. and set them aside in a bowl. Next what you want to do is add in two medium sized potatoes that we've just cubed up here. A can of cream of mushroom soup. A cup of sour cream. And you can use lighter whole sour cream depending on how diet conscious you are. A cup of grated cheddar cheese and I've used the mixed stuff but you can use whatever you like. A touch more salt and pepper. Grab up a spoon and give it a quick mix. While you're watching, look for something unique in this video and drop us a comment below. Then what you're going to do is put your mixture into the casserole dish of your choice. Smooth it out a little bit, not too much, you still want it to look a bit rustic. And put it into a 350 degree preheated oven, that's 177 Celsius, for about 45 minutes. After about 45 minutes, and this smells just great, we're going to put another cup of cheese over the top. I should mention you don't have to put this back in the oven, it's going to melt on its own. Give it a quick sprinkle with some parsley flakes and you're good to go. So there you have it, our chicken potato casserole. Mmm, this is outrageously good, guys. It's creamy, cheesy, the chicken is so tender, it's just a great comfort food. For this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com, give us a thumbs up, and most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.